These are the best of the best. Some of the greatest card men the world has ever seen here in London for a big game. Big confrontations over these 24 hours. The Devilfish takes on Yuha Helpy, Tony G against Phil Helmuth, and Kenna James locking horns with Ian Fraser. Who will come out on top? We'll see. We're halfway through, and it's been a dream so far. That is, if you're the Brothers Grimm. The Devilfish has been dominant. Tony G flapping it up. Helmet stuck like a fish, as is John McGill. But nobody's going anywhere right now. Plenty of play left at this cash table. So let's have a look at who's in the seats with their seatbelts strapped on. Irishman John McGill has been on a downward spiral. Feeling like a whirlpool right now. Quicksand, but he can climb out. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to turn the game around. Texas Johnny Houston, he crashed into this game, played like all guns blazing and out, back for more. People ask me, is it luck or is it skill? People take out, yeah, this is a mind game. We play mind games. The Russian Kirill Gerasimov. Got stuck early and just kept going, but he's a hard nut to crack. Really interesting because people are joking because Phil Helmut is a very famous player. You know, it's very interesting. Ian Fraser always got a laugh and a smile, but it's real money right now. I'm sort of on the gravy train at a minute, and um, I'm loving every minute of it. It's good. The devil fish has been hunkered down since hand number one. Can he make a win? It's definitely good having a, you know, this like um, persona where they're all a bit scary. It's been a rocky ride for Cowboy Kenna James so far. This game up bucking Bronco and he's under it. Let's just hope I blow in and like that and just, you know, and blow him off the table. Hold in court is Tony G, the mouth from the south. The Australian Ukraine. I'm just going to crush them, absolutely destroy them. They'll never want to play poker with me again. Looking at the leaderboard so far of the guys on the table. The Devilfish, big winner so far, and Tony G has never been down. The question though, will John McGill get moving or get losing? Couple guys in this game under a thousand dollars, winner or loser, and they get their nose open before they sort of start bending over the table instead of sitting straight up. No, this is a lot of top class players. Um, clashing here, so you know you're going to see a lot of stuff that the, the mathematicians might improve of. You've got to know to be sexy. Cool. You know, there's a, there's a big difference between drafts and chess. And this is definitely a chess game. Cool. Cool. Well, the thing that makes it so much fun, I mean, I think for most people watching, myself included, is that... Uh, you know, the tournament strategies have been, they've been overanalyzed and parsed and everything. It's, like, there hasn't been, if, 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 if they've done as much work with the cash games, they haven't told a lot of people Check. about it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, sure there's, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who know you how healthy you might be one of them, but the they ain't song. talking. Bet's 400. <coughs> it's called Pass. And uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Tony G, mm -hmm. middle pair, no flush draw. See, Fraser could get busy here, couldn't he? Oh. <laughs> he probably will. What's the bet? Is that another green one? Yeah. No. I should have about 50,000 by now. Pass. I think my pair will be good enough. You just can't put the I'll fish down, can you? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, I got. I got to tell you, you got to. He's you absolutely lost stunned. He's just he there looking at Ian Fraser. Like these guys are good friends. They've been going out. They go out drinking a little bit. Uh, I wouldn't go drink of it either on myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a matter of personal taste. <laughs> they've uh, they've been playing pool. <laughs> they've, they've, they've become quite funny. So Fraser's oh, just pulled this move bad? on the fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fish is just sitting there thinking about it. <laughs> the more he thinks about it, the worse. Oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it is. It is. It is. <laughs> it is true in poker that you generally have a better record bluffing your friends than your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. <laughs> oh, Fraser. You're in massive trouble. Tell me, you're in massive trouble. This pot got very big yeah, all of a sudden. He's been in trouble all his life. He don't care. I'm all in. It's all in. Wow. Huh. I got married in a fever. <laughs> Take the play out of me, man. <laughs> Pass. Yeah, I think all in was a bit strong. I mean, he can't, he can't really pull he it just moved all in there, trying to, trying, to, trying, to, trying to pretend he was bluffing. Well, I know he ain't going. I think Tony G's down. been around. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a good, uh, good play if you didn't have it. I had seven ten of clubs, man. Seven ten of clubs? Yeah. Uh, not bad. Huh? Not bad. It's seven, so you'll see in a minute. Seven of clubs is on the board, unfortunately. Oh, no. That's the only mm -hmm. Pass. I should have called blind. What's happened here? Devil fish? Oh, pass, pass. Come in for 50. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be some guy yeah, flying to Finland to today, and he's going to be wondering why the guy beside him wakes up every now and again and has a little chuckle to himself. You don't want action, you want to just pick them up. Tell him you're, you're stuck 30,000. If you want to raise 30 grand here, I want to get a Yeah, if you want to get a stuck 30 grand, he wants to pick them blinds up. I'm in for 50, actually, so I'm down 30. I'll make it three. Can I raise? Well, I want to raise. Is it no limit? Excuse me. Oh, it's just by. 350. He is right. Leave him alone. make a little so speech here, and he's got a big hand. You look this is, it's normally the best I'll time to make a little speech. I'm going to give him a speech. <laughs> they don't end up looking you know, too stupid at the end. I'm priced. I'm priced. I like it, bro. Well, well you start at night. We like the guy. He's I'm priced. I mean, I, I know McGill's out of position and all, but this, wow. he's, 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 there's six, 1,600 bucks in the pot if he hits something. Uh, well, actually, if anybody hits something, it's going to be pretty good right now, isn't it? I could have sworn I saw seven out there. That ain't enough garbage for me. I need it worse. Perhaps I need it worse than that? Jeez. How should McGill play this? What would you be doing here? It's up to you. It's up to you. Oh, it's up to me, right? Okay. I think it's better. <laughs> you asked me to be right in the game, you know? <laughs> it's good that you. Yeah. Someone needs to captain the game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start taking control here. Boys are getting lost. 12. 1200 to call. Pass. The fish has got a decision. DF, 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 DF. He's made it quickly. Call. Good for DF, oh god, Ian. Don't be out your work, man. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> well McGill may have lost 30,000, but he hasn't lost his sense of humor. What did he say? <laughs> Don't be at your work here, Ian. <laughs> Words are not a fact. It's a tough old one because. Uh, like the devil fish could easily have sure a seven thing. here. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Well, the, the devil fish uh, can get involved with a whole range of cards. It can definitely include a seven, <laughs> just which is why he's such a tricky kept. customer. But I personally don't think McGill cares whether he's got a seven or not at this stage. Eighteen. Eighteen to call. Now, what would McGill do if Devilfish raised? I'm sure that's what the Devilfish is thinking. Or he might just be wondering if his five is any good. Well, you know, John McGill has been playing fairly wild and taking a stab at all sorts of stuff. 
So uh, you could understand why the fish might want to call with this. Though he may think from uh, John's demeanour that he's a little stronger than he has been <laughs> on several other occasions tonight. It's, it's, it's a feel thing. It's interesting because um, Devilfish could also be thinking, well, a raise here might be better than a call because McGill definitely can't have the seven. I could always check it on the river if I'm unlucky enough to get called. Or is well, you can be sure that the fish is going through all the possibilities. I think he's going to pass. I still think he's going to pass. <sighs> you know, for all the trouble the fish has gotten in his Only because I saw you call 10,000 with an <laughs> 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 On the rock of the table bed. <laughs> <laughs> not raise you with this. Take it. Pass. <coughs> I was just going to say, I mean, cool? for all the I trouble that, that yeah. fish has gotten in, he's made a lot of right decisions to tonight. He's well, you know, I've, I've been playing with him watching the fish like for, for a long time now. He does make an extraordinary number of good decisions. You know, and he plays out in the margins. You know, when you're playing the range of hands, the devil fish plays. Uh, if your judgment isn't good, uh, we wouldn't have seen him for the last five years. He'd <laughs> be working in a chip shop and hole. But, you know, I mean, uh, just McGill here, he's, he's climbing back a little bit. But uh, I was talking to Yuha after the straight flush hand, and uh, I said to Yuha it was a bit unlucky. That uh, the fish didn't have the for you the fish didn't have the king flush. And you the fish didn't hear you say. But you know, yeah, well, <laughs> no, but, uh, but you know what you ha said? You ha said I wouldn't the fish wouldn't have re raised me with the king flush either. The story of the game lately really has been John McGill kind of climbing back. I mean he has won about geez, I think about seven, eight thousand since he hit his nader. And uh, everybody else is sort of closing in. Is Garasimov in trouble? What, what's happening with him? Is he still there? <laughs> well, a, I like Garasimov's game. I mean, he, he mixes this up a little bit. He's, he's not afraid to take a few flops. I don't think he's too worried at the moment. Get ready for the return of one of the biggest names in the game. This table will be all shook up. Another into the lion's den. Where's he been all day? Rolling the wolf. Painting his shirt, perhaps. I know them. They know me. Pretty on. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little joke for you. Yeah, that's good. I like your one uh, about the... Uh, you got a couple of great ones. About the one in the fax machine or something. Oh, yeah. I, was, I read that the other day. That was He's funny. a funny Call. guy. He is a funny that was guy. Funny. And I like the other one, too, with uh, the guy that you loaned the money to. Oh, yeah. That's couple of calls of line, here, baby. couple of nice hands. That's the fish. That right, is type, top of the line. And uh, Bill gets the sweet, I get the last. Can't get a big pot Pass. unless the pot starts fish down this to guy, money. somewhere. Fish. Fish. How much was it? Two hundred dollars. You used the um, the fishes one or not? No, I know. Some very respectable holdings oh. around here. Oh, oh. oh. wow. <laughs> this is only Roland's third hand at the well, table. Uh, yeah, we'll some guys. He's been waiting patiently for this. Wow. Two thousand. That's twenty-five. I bet 2,000 three times all night. The kid's been here for four hands or something. But, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. Now, now that's one of the. I wonder if. Right there. Has. Uh, Pass. Uh, has, has, has Roland got a little ambitious with this or. Uh, I'll stick that on there, Roland, because I'm going to play a bit chase on this. Oh, wow! Absolutely <laughs> not! <laughs> Park! Wow. He's got one fucking motherfucking hand, but he's done it. It's a bit worse than that, Dave. <laughs> Jeez, Park, uh, the Devilfish just took an opinion kind of early there, didn't he? Well, I think it's none of the traders losing the plot. <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's an extraordinary play from Dave because he's been playing so well all night. And uh, that's kind of a big pot here 24 what's it's a, it's a huge pot so it's the biggest pot we've had in four hours what a lucky fuck you are baby you're so bad at poker when you just get such luck it's scary second hand two aces you must have king i thought he's doing the move you know i mean why do you want to make it two thousand aces no you think i'm doing a move 
Yeah. Well, I couldn't believe that. You'd find that like second hand. I mean. You should know you've done that. I've watched you last week, baby. I do know you. He's the fastest player at the table, Roland. Is. We were all waiting for you, Roland. I was really waiting for a lucky fact like that, second hand aces. <laughs> but there's still two cards to come, but the fish, uh, well, miracles have fish is one in a hundred yeah. here, Clark, or maybe even slightly less. The next card's got to be a tan, a jack, a queen, like or a king. <laughs> yeah, just waiting for the fucking, just wait, sat here waiting for the fucking bombs. <laughs> <laughs> you still got it, even it when is, he's faced uh, with it. Well, you know, just, uh, that's when he's, that's that's he's yeah. got a yeah. point. <laughs> <laughs> you got to add it to my face. You, know, you don't get the more trouble than this in the pot. <laughs> no, I don't think he we got that other 5,000. He's still chirping away. Nine, I, think I don't think he got the 10,000. Oh, you don't, yeah, no. didn't rebuy. He didn't rebuy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't rebuy. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> you asked for the money. He did. Are you going to deal the cards or not? I don't care about them fuckers up there. Just deal the yeah. cards. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, over. It's over. Let's go. All right. It's over. Hold well on. Good deal. Once again. How many times is this fucking hair in that dealer girl tell the agents or something? And, uh... Yeah. Oh, among among the people who could feel aggrieved in this pot is, is John McHale, who's who sat in that seat for about 11 hours. And, uh, well, Natasha, who tells him? <laughs> it's just one of those stories that has to be told. <laughs> McHale's been gone for three hands, and Roland the Wolf has just won 11,000 in the seat. It's, uh, <laughs> It would have murdered about 50 Actually, the, the, rea the reality <laughs> well, of it is that the guys can't play in the past. <laughs> the eight class is temporary and form is permanent. Nine hundred and seventy-five. Nine hundred and seventy-five. Nine hundred and seventy-five. Nice hand, Roly. If McGill hasn't fallen asleep yet, somebody yeah, we'll should go and wake best. him up. You just sit down and find some Oh, kids. poor yeah. guy. I've been playing here like for uh, eight, seven hours and no fucking, no one pair of aces yet. So the aces have raided the fish and this young gun means business. Yeah. Yeah. Roland Dwarf, uh, age 27 from London. UK Player of the Year, 2006. European Player of the Year. I've won World Poker Tour, European Poker Tour. Only player to win both of those uh, events. I've made fun at the World Series, played in the highest cash games online and live. I started working for a gambling magazine and no one knew anything about poker and I knew a bit. I played a bit like with friends and stuff and just took it from there. Went on a tour, meeting people, writing about it, and trying to educate others about the game and educating myself at the same time. I've had a quite a fast introduction to the game. I mean, I've been playing just over three years, so it's been pretty good success. But I've got to be lucky as well in this game. In the last couple of years, I've been to Australia, America, Aruba, St. Kitts, all around Europe. I'm an accomplished tournament poker player and a fearless cash player too, so obviously my achievements show that I have something, but I can play bad just like anyone else. I know almost all the players here tonight. I'm around the circuit a lot and see people, so yeah, I know them. They know me. Pretty on. In there. No, no, nobody, nobody seems. Did you, did you tell nobody me seems to uh, appreciate that. Hand? I just like called one out of fifty-two cards there, or whatever it was. Not fifty-two. I'm still going from. Uh, uh, I'm still going from the fourteen yeah, in the ad when you found the aces oh. down Felt to seven. It. I'm not very happy at the moment. <laughs> you have to play every part. Raise it up. <laughs> every part. Two fifty oh pass. Don't pass. let him out. Two fifty pass. Roland, Roland, pass. You missed the one you had got me earlier. Do you everybody? Oh no. Scary, huh? Call. Not for real. Oh. Call. 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 That's the first pot he's played for two hours. Call. 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 See, Carol's well aware of this. Uh, everybody's putting him on something huge, aren't they? I get about half for about five seconds. Well, maybe not. I hate the messes because I usually always get beat. 1,250 the raise. Well, you know, I think with, with the players we got around this table, I mean, all of whom have oh, to no. produce some <laughs> pretty incredible tricks of, of uh, deception over the years. I mean, if, if there are some players in the world that aren't going to fall for the, the deceptive move, I mean, <laughs> this is your lineup. Hard. Tony G's flopped the nuts. Pass. Both Helmuth and Pass. Houston have top Pass. pair, and uh, Houston could be steamed. Ooh, ooh, ooh! 
fishy. 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 I don't mind telling everybody right now. Almost made it 3,000. Well, Hamlet did say he was going to set a trap for Tony G. He didn't say he was going to jump into it. <coughs> well, this is be great up, news Bill. for John Houston. I mean, just yeah, brilliant. Well, he said to us, you're going to cost us 75000 yeah, Houston doesn't know how lucky he just got. He's basically drawn no, dead here. Well, He's been given a, a huge out, hasn't yes, he? Bill's calling, he certainly has. <coughs> You know, you can understand how Phyllis played the hand this way. You know, he has been setting traps for Tony G all day. Who is it? Who is it? That doesn't make Helmuth feel very well. Tony G just stuck the knife into Johnny Houston, who passed. It went right through his body and caught Helmuth now. He thumbed him up! What do you like? I knew he had, but look, we raced with nine seven. I'll tell you what, I want to show him nothing but top. When I saw that top, I thought that's exactly oh, what man. he's racing with. It's oh, a situation. He wants to catch a nine. Six. Wow. So sick. He's deserving. Maybe you win. Maybe the wolf, he don't care what comes next. He just wants to play the next part. Yeah. What do you need now? <laughs> <laughs> what do you need now to disapprove? <laughs> I'm not saying I disapprove. Joint flop. And then I flopped top pair against a guy who I, who's a stone cold raving maniac who can't wait to get his money in the bottom pair, who I know is on massive till he raised with nine seven and flopped the straight and flopped me two pair, top pair. Phil, will you forgive me? I'm running me? real good. Will you forgive me? Please just forgive me for everything. No, I'm just mad at myself. Look at the board I know you're going to don't. If you had a big hand, the off. boat came in on the end. I'm you so just have to have a boat. God. Will you forgive me, Phil? <laughs> so Will you <laughs> ever, ever forgive me? Well, I'm sorry for playing I that. I can't hear that volcano now, but you just simmed it right down. Yeah, you, you just. Five again. What a fucking joke. Not done, it's all right, it's all right. Are you playing? Oh, gosh. Because you just cost everyone 75,000. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> I cost myself 75,000. This donk over here, 9-7. Uh, he... It's not too late. I saw like, that flop. Right? I thought that's exactly the sort of shit he's raising with. So another buy-in for Phil Helmuth. But as long well, as he's here, he has point. to be the man to watch. Hello, I'm Phil Helmuth, Jr. I'm from Palo Alto, California. I've been playing poker all of my adult life. I've played tournaments since I was 21 and ca big cash games since I was 21, and that's, this is what I do. I hear people say he's the best Hold'em player in the world by far. He's won more titles than anybody else. He's won more money, la di la di da But if you walk around thinking, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, then you're going to have a fall. So you try, to, you try to say, oh, that's nice, and, and I appreciate the press, and you know, I appreciate them saying what they're saying, and, and even if I see them mention second or third in the world, sometimes I'm kind of like, oh. But at the same time, you can't walk around thinking that. You have to beat the players you're playing against that day, that night, that moment, and that's what it's about. I think you keep learning, and you keep learning, and you keep learning, and you keep thinking of things you've never thought of before. But a lot of times, you know, when I'm in my top form, say five years ago, I struggle sometimes to get back to that form. And then sometimes, very occasionally, like this summer, you know, the summer of 2006 at the World Series of Poker, I had just a phenomenal run where I got to my absolute peak playing of my life. And so if I can get above that, that's great, you know, and it might take a few years. It might take three years, you know. I mean, could I, could I just, would I be happy if I could always keep it at that level of the summer of 06? Yes, because, man, that was awesome, you know. but. You know, you just you struggle and you improve and, and you relearn things and that's the way it is. The secret to being a successful cash game player is patience, patience, patience. My weakness is definitely uh, definitely when I get overconfident. You know, definitely when when I think I'm too great to lose, then I lose. So I mean, I can't. You know, I, I can't. Uh, and then another one of my weaknesses: if they hit a weird card on me to hit their hand, sometimes I don't see it. Back to the PartyPoker.net big game. No, you've given me some incentive. I, 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 now I realize I have to be the... I want to be the 4 to 1... Raise the 200 call total. Pass. Call. 200 to call. Call. Uh, the wolf getting involved here. It pays off in a lot of ways. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah. Mix up the chips this that way time. and that way and that way and this way. I know way. one thing. When you got your Cold. stack, you can't yes. afford the cold 200. You should be waiting for like Ace King and... Woo! Woo! I think, I think the, the, the fish is thinking re raise. I don't know what he's got. Like devil fish, at least he's playing. I have ace king. Not very what much did I <laughs> What did you say? He's not playing a lot of stack strategy. Remember when I called the raise with pens? Remember when I called the raise with pens and you told everybody else to gamble? You should have moved it. In the movies, we get a bunch of spades on the flop. Why? I wanted to trap. Seven to one favorite. Seven to one favorite. Can you say that? Look how aware the grass is. I think Johnny was quite a big favorite. Seven to one. Shouldn't, shouldn't be surprised if anybody did the wolf is all over Check. this block. Check. I'll bet it. 400. 400 to come. All these Pass. Roland likes to kind of get deep in these things. Raise 600. Here we go. I feel, I feel a bad beat coming, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to get plenty of insurance. Phil feels a bad beat coming. It means he's going to put somebody in this one. I don't think so. Poor old Ronald the Wolf. He's only got to sit down at the table and guys are sticking all the money in against him. Bum. Bum. Just give him a thousand. Just give him a thousand. Wow. I mean, Hamilton's made a pretty sophisticated play here, I guess. Well, he's going to tell you that anyway. I'm trying to an impossible situation. I can't do anything. Pass. Yeah, six. If I six, I would have called. You know what you just did, don't you? You cost me like 4,000 of him bluffing. That's true. It may seem a little ungracious. I do believe he's right. Of course he's right. It doesn't mean it's not very I'm just great. My chips. There's, there's always, there's always <laughs> these questions that pop up. Are poker players athletes? I got news for you. Yes. Yes, they are. These guys all have a lot of stamina. They're all sitting there looking like they're and asleep. Call. Pass. And what is Pass. it? Antennas. What is it, Antennas guagua. Antennas guagua. Hey, really? Yeah, so. He's running without pass, the board again, pass. but it's a pretty big mouthful, Gregor. Mrs. Gregor. 300 from Tony <laughs> J with the ace nine. <laughs> I'm the last Gregor. All right, Paul, Greg, you want to see me play poker? Call. Well, it'll be a pleasant what change. Look, I'm going to shoot my way out. That's all I can do now. Pass. Pass. Oh, good. <laughs> I tried the best hand. I tried the best hand. I tried the best hand. I waited. I waited. I waited. I tried the bad hands. My, my, my well, he's, he's right, he tried the best hand, he tried the best hand. He tried the worst hand and then he tried no hand at all. <laughs> 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 I, can't I can't wait to see what's coming Check. next. But <laughs> Time to shoot my way out, Paul Check. Greg. Check. I'm going to start doing a I'm going to be the razor from now on. Go, 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 go do it, Phil. I'll be right behind you. Tony G, he when raised his top of four to flop. Dimes. He flopped the top pair, an checked it. Rush. One or the other. And uh, Fraser's now picked I'm up a straight draw two rush. ways. I've run out of patience, Fish. What do you want me to do? Seven but I feel good. This is exactly what Tony G right. has in mind. Are ready to call. just control the table even though you have the short stack? I feel good too. Eight will be very like disguised. Queen won't. That's all uh, Fraser's got. got. Not you. Better, better yeah, about five, six hundred. <laughs> 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 it's, it's an odd oh, bet for by Fraser. It? <laughs> well, it is that time of the morning. <laughs> I mean, it was. Uh oh. How many more? Two or three? Two. Two for me. Three in total. It was. Um, he must have had it in his mind what hand he was trying to get Tony off of. <coughs> Probably in this case, Anthony was beating nine, Jack. <laughs> Take your pick. Uh, I mean, the fact that Tony's checked on this flop, that's just sort of made the whole thing a little bit deep. But uh, you just said before this. 
At this level, uh, they're all throwing off just different signals all the time anyway, aren't they? It's, uh, nothing goes true to form. You just can't take... Uh-oh. Price, 4,000 more. Wow. And Tony G has to start thinking about the straight here, Varg. Well, he's got a bit of thinking to do, that's for sure. Cool. So he does it very quickly. <laughs> One pair. That's real hard, that says good. Tony G. Just try. Just, just let me see it. Well, can you beat one pair? Yes. Well, I still want to see your cards. Why? You because I called you. you. You raised me, you check raised me. I've got the to guts to check raise me, yeah. you do. I don't know well, if he's lost that 575 anymore. This is a big pot. Tony G's going to be way ahead as soon as this pot gets rigged. Well, look, we're still going to play more, so I want to show you. It's nothing personal. some of the next time you're in there. I want to see the hand. I've called you. <coughs> I mean, if you this guy wants to see it. If you got the guts to check raise me, check cool. me. Yeah. What does that then mean? you've got to have you got to have your card exposed. You've got to know next time it's going to be exposed. Those rubbish cards are going to be shown down. Well, you can see them in ten minutes. Everyone is going to see them. You can see them in nothing, ten minutes. Nothing to be ashamed of. Well, I want to see them now. I want to see oh. what you're trying to do. I didn't want to show you. Fraser gets the last yeah, word in. Really that won't happen too to much tonight. Yeah. Yeah. The winners have walked. Yuha Helpy and Dave Gregory have taken their chips for higher ground, but that's fine because it's the tilt-ups that Get Even merchants were concerned about. And Helmuth right now reeling so heavy, he's on a walkabout. This game seven-handed, Gerasimov has had a bumpy ride. And how is Johnny Houston going to get back into this game with the seatbelt buckled? Let's have a look at who's up and who's down on this ladder of luck and love. The impact that Roland the Wolf has made on landing has been massive. 14,000 to the good. The Devilfish all of a sudden stuck. Fraser, Garasimov, and Helmuth in a cesspool. Very important. It's a jersey. I agree. Yeah, and the game goes on. First Amendment. Oh, I don't think you're a socialist. Freedom of speech. You might give him a little... Uh, He's been here 11 hours, his fingers are getting heavy, he's taking the rings off and just sitting up the I mean, must be out of the relief. He'll pick up those cards every time. You can't get out of your 15 to pop It's, uh... Raise. And... Re raise from Tony G here. Re raise to 800 total. Well, he's losing, but he's in kind of a good spot, I guess. Call. Call, so don't fall. Head up between Tony G and Devilfish. Interesting little play by Tony G. He's going to hit his pair here. What do you need to stick it in? I've probably got the best done already, you know. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> so really want to get that kids. money in. Well, he'd like to get it in with the best hand. He's not going to get that chance. 400. Well, that's a pretty strong bet. How much is in the pot? 2025. <laughs> 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 Can you call? <laughs> You know, you might have thrown that little dangler out there to get me to come flying over the top with all this money. Huh? You think he's that smart? <laughs> 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 oh, he might have misread his colors like you did. <laughs> he might have got the chips around like you did when you claimed to be that smart. <laughs> you know, it's far than I can call. <laughs> God, he's right. Show it. Ice King. Sure. Good lay down. I don't mind. I'm asking him. Show your friend. One card. <laughs> just because. Okay, I'll. Uh, just one card. Come on, that's not fair. Hey, hey, here's so that everyone has to see. I might have picked the wrong one. Tony totally G has just cracked the I ten mean, dime mark, the big dime. But he's sucking out on the flop. I'm pretty sure that's not the target. <laughs> but he knew, it, he knew, he knew he was going to catch the right about that for. I'm just glad I didn't move in on the sucker. Uh, he 
Maybe I don't know. Tony G. Tony G's $5,000 dollar bet to earlier to this evening oh, that's right. <laughs> with the Jacks ball. We were talking on the break and he said, but he said he didn't have the ace. Everyone had legitimate hands. Pictures and ace. Couldn't really blame him there. It's not too bad. Everyone had legitimate hands. Polish will be telling them what a big hand that is in Ireland and in England, actually. You're in England now. Pass. Might not be a big hand in America where the shit went for King Pass. and Cowboys. Pass. I haven't seen him all day. Fraser's got the 6 8. All day. He could cool. If he wanted to do a bit of business, he could probably sell it to Kiru. Feel a little grief for somebody else. What's the team next to you? A bunch of limps. And yeah. five way action here. Well, so she can fuck me one more time. <laughs> gonna be about, I don't know, 450 in the pot. I said, so she can fuck me one more time. <laughs> but I just saw David starting there. I, I, I called. There's, there's, there's nothing up to me. It's up to Kenna. No, I She's waiting for the thing. Wait, wait a minute, wait. I just was talking to one of them two minutes ago. It was not drug semi dead on the floor. Uh, the one uh, with the trousers <laughs> on, uh, the slim Jeez, one. I think everybody's hit a pair. Yeah, Everybody but Tony yeah. G, who's betting. She got this 29 minutes left this hour anyway. Hobbies came by, I've only got like uh, And how's Rowan That's gonna play this now? Oh, Bet and call. I don't expect him to do an hour, you know, like they're supposed to. <laughs> Plus it's not I think you'd need to prefer Kenneth got out of the pot and he Tyler could just start calling Tony G down. What do you think, Paulie? <laughs> She's very lovely, actually. Very Phil pretty. can definitely but take a hint here, Fire. She's still in my cool as you know me. She's in bad shape. Might just be this filthy old warehouse that I'm on, right? And his hand isn't too good either. Yeah. <laughs> there's only a man left liver in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the other two are on there. What? The other two are on there. No, they're not. The other one was stood there. It's. Was in there. You should be sleeping. Mm -hmm. 700 to call, 2 plus 5. They're not doing all. Why are you set up there on a. No, I don't think so. One? It could be time, Phil. It could be time. I don't know what he's doing. Roll on the werewolf. I just want to see Kenneth stays out. You always that, there's no game without you. Get the feeling that he's just going to fall. Like you know, you know, I think he's trying to pick something up from... Uh, if he does a win, I might even fold just, just, just to keep him in the game. It's <laughs> <laughs> generous. Smart and generous. It's <laughs> <laughs> wall on the werewolf. I'm going to be careful. <laughs> Who's it up to? It's not me. Do you okay. mind if I no, take a minute, or, or you want to you want to dominate? You know, when I finally have a real tough decision, what? Right, I want to dominate. Think I, have? I think you have like a five king. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a tough decision for me. I mean, that's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's a good hand. It's a legitimate <laughs> probably king of house. Well, you got I should bring out a Phil Helmet doll for Sadus. <laughs> <laughs> and go down a bomb around about Christmas. <laughs> Six or an eight, nine. I don't blame you. I would think too with King Fire. I mean, it's for your entire. Okay, Tony, thank you. Thanks <laughs> for that input, Tony. Let's do the panel thing. <laughs> I don't know, but you know, I've got to get, I've got to get some sleep if I go all the way back to my town. I opened the action. He's going to pass. Nice. I'm all in. Wow. All in. Wow. Very you easy. Got it right with the eight, six. Pass. Pass. Mm. Did you a small set? Did you flop a small set? All right, let's on your backs. There's not much chance of rolling the wolf passing here, is there? Is that <laughs> not much chance of no, him even being able to get the wind up bit. I'm not sure if it's Tony G or the fish. Can I, have I wouldn't leave rolling the wolf passing either. What about if they if the five comes and then and then the, what do we need then? And then a king. Five and a king. Or an five and a king. Or an eight and a king. <laughs> well, you got to say they're a helpful lot, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Really you know, you think you're in bad shape, and then the guys tell you all the oh, possibilities you can have to hit a miracle. You know, you can dodge that. You know, I don't play with a maze three. If you ask him on the TV, you know, in fairness to Phil, if you did hit a three here, it wouldn't be out of turn. You got a chance. The boys are really good for this one. You know they are. The boys are lit, really. Come on to five. Come on to five.
my turn to the top. No, well, at least, least we won't have, have to listen to the look how good I'm playing. No one can say Phil Helmut is a bad cash game player. I will not hear it. Nobody. And he worked that out perfectly. There's nothing, no mistakes. Yeah, baby. Well played, Phil. Just. Stack it up with ace three. Seeing the top pair again, you can't help but stack off. I know, Roland, I know it's hard for you all to, to let me win one pot over 3,000 in eight hours. I know that's hard, and I know, and I know, and I know I've been running really lucky. You deserve to win a pot. No, I've been running really good. Well, if you're playing, you're playing that bad for eight hours, you'd have one more one pot. Just so I feel like more. You hit the top pair. You the mistake was in the area once you got your money in front. You're a lot better behind you hit the top pair. Let's put everything in and hope. <laughs> just put everything in and hope. You know, just before they came back in, really Roland DeWolf said to Phil, you know, I'm not going to be sticking my money in with anything except the nuts. Uh, it's so bad. Would you put him in I'm not sure who enjoyed losing. Who enjoyed that pot That's more, Roland the Wolf or Phil? I think Roland the Wolf really enjoyed losing that pot. He loved it. <laughs> Phil's probably trying to work out how much it cost him to get him to lose that one in the cut. Just put it down as a rebate. Cool. How much is that now for? Seven. Or 200 to call. Double what you, uh, you just put half of it oh. in, just rank it out. 250 from... I didn't even count. Tony G on the button. I've had seven hours, okay? Like 65. I might have the 65 hundred of the seven dimes over here. I think it is. I've got the seven dimes. All you got to do is stack it off with a truck. After seven hours, I finally have the seven dimes, okay? You know what? I knew that pre was going to this is the first time Phil has had more news. And this could be the beginning of a little rush here for Phil. Yeah, but I mean, he's had a couple of bad It's unlikely, but it could be. He's got top pair. I didn't like the 10 jack either. And this could be the Phil's plan to trap Tony G in operation here. Will Tony G fall for it? Gagwa. It was against Mr. Gallagher. Oh, it's pretty tough to put Mr. Gallagher on a, on a hand, actually. Mr. Fraser. Ian might have some plans of Fraser his own. Ali versus Fraser. Well, he's certainly Ian shown Fraser. himself to be a man with uh, an imagination Ali tonight. Isn't it? Not, not you and I. I said it's Ali oh. Fraser. What do you want to do? So please do something good with my money. Don't, anyone just, don't just stack it off. Yeah. Don't worry. I've Phil's I've called as well. No, so this is Fraser Foreman, right? right? This is the no, uh, excuse me. This is the Fraser <laughs> Foreman match. You've got it this wrong. is where he keeps coming this forward. This is where he chins him and lifts him off the ground. And then you get the sucker punch <laughs> right underneath the chin. Not from the chin. Tony, she's actually drawing live. But right? I think that might be my only way out. Get somebody a sucker punch under the chin. Check. Check. Where's Mad Marty? <laughs> what should Tony do now? He's sleeping. Well, as unlikely as it sounds, you know it's he'd love to put a bed in. And I thought Ian Fraser called him. I don't put him on the machine. Same in the I mean, Phil's already said that Tony's going to bluff off his chips to his hand. Oh. I think Pass. because he didn't want to have to try and face a decision to call him. I'll tell you what, if Phil wins this one, we're going to get some music here, yeah, baby. I'll tell you <laughs> I check. I can only go give him a banjo. I know he's checking in the dark. Wow, that's a fun You know, I don't like that show. <laughs> How much does Tony have to bet on the river to lose like Phil? Like or if he gets a nine, how much like does he have to bet on the river to keep him in? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, that, that, could, that could be a big card for it. Tony G. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, Phil checked in the <laughs> dark here. Got Tony. <laughs> Tony's finally made a hand with a deuce of time. Wow. Uh, I hope Phil doesn't let himself, let himself down and go into and look how lucky you've been, Tony. Friends. That's what friends are for. <laughs> I think Phil may call this. He has been getting some bad cards on the way for him. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at me, Phil. Can you just give me a second, please, Roland? Uh, the bet was 4,300. I mean, I know actually. you. I know it's real funny to you all that I flopped top pair and have lost eight million pots with it, and to a guy who's donked off his money <laughs> <and> <laughs> intentionally eight million times. I know it's all fun and games for you all. You maybe should have protected it a bit better, buddy. God. Please don't educate in the hand, David. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you guys are tough. I mean, I can't even ask for a minute of silence, huh? Okay. There's a bit of a rarity around here. <laughs> I think Phil may well make oh. his pass. <laughs> It's all quality, don't worry. You this time you made the right read. You know, Phil, let me just say one thing. Anyone want to say one card? No. It's I'll both diamonds. Me, me. Just one, just one, yeah. Just, just uh, one. one Mark the other one. Yeah, one. that one. Just that one. one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> ice can. Ice can, ice with diamonds. You know what? You know what, guys? I'll say one thing, man. No, no, I don't even want to say it. I don't want to educate you. And he well, and Fraser, they hit the state, eh? Yeah. Way, Cody G. Uh, I don't play I mean, well. To be fair, I don't know. I, I don't Park, know. a lot of the money he's I, won has I, been I, stealing I, I, tots I'm off helmet. Shocked. Shocked. <laughs> it's a bit well, unlucky you know, for Phil. I mean, he has said Tony G. Up to keep betting at that spot. It's obvious that you know I'm going to draw. It's obvious that you've got your hand made. You've got the ace of diamonds. Why do you want to check in the deck? I check in the dark five times. Look, you've been saying that before. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is, if you if you check, what do you want? What do you want? It's obvious you ain't got the ace of diamonds. And then the diamond, I can just feel it. You then give him a license to take it off you, buddy. Absolutely, put it in there. You give him a license to take it off you, whether he had it or not. How many diamonds do you think I had? Does anyone want to bet? How many diamonds in my hand? Anyone want to bet? Anyone want to bet? I'll have a bet. Come on, you've got all the diamonds in your head. Let's go. Yeah. We know you're a dog. Tony G is usually yeah. proud of himself. <laughs> yeah. 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 Can't yeah. blame him. So he had 14,000 in this game, and uh, I don't care. Oh. You know, I mean, most of it has been expensive. Well, thank you. I had queens when I had a club top pair. I checked the bluff off your money, and it came. I will say, in the Premier League, Phil really did get the best of Tony. I mean, you know, Tony deserves to have a little fun here. I mean, he's It's okay. At least you didn't make the big call. I would have made the big call. Premier League with a deuce, deuce dangling. <laughs> the way this goes to the that have checked in the dark. Maybe you should have called in the dark as well. You could have checked. You've got to let me win the pot, right? Whatever I had, you let me win the pot. I promise you that much. And one more surprise, no diamonds. 1,600 in there. <laughs> and. But I had a red card. A lot of diamonds. I had one red card. KJ's got <laughs> two. It's a big, big flop here for Kenny J. And, uh. I can't remember the last time Kirill had a pair. 1,200 pounds. But it wasn't today. You think I had your hands? Kirill, you should have shown a lot of patience, Kirill. You think I've had those hands? I haven't had those. You had ace-3. If you stay around, we both stay around long enough. 3,200. I can't really blame Kenna for raising the hand. is huge. But The only thing I know is if I stay around long enough, someone's going to get married. Kirill hasn't bet in so long. 2,000 more to call. How about enough for seeing this match? I want to get rid of it. I wonder if Kirill could fall. Old here, Perg. Uh, well, he could, but I don't think so. I just want to blame the shuffling don't, machine. I think uh, Ken has only got about 5,000 in total. I mean, if you bluffed it, well done. I mean, that's, that's good. I mean, I, I set you up to bluff it, and the deck gave and me I the diamond. It. And I did it. You set me up, and I bluffed it. Wow. Discipline yeah. task. You needed, like, the king of the world. <laughs> I think there's one thing that was sure. Phil Phil, there's one thing that was sure. He's a very patient man. Let's go over the next time. He had a diamond. He had a diamond. Very, very patient man. That's not necessarily true. You're not talking about Ken, are you? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> I think it would have showed you, Phil. KJ has I'm taken down know, this last pot. From you know, this uh, brief uh, session, and sometimes it's uh -huh. tough. It had its moments. So, yeah, there was, you know, but that's like poker. It, it's sometimes you go through hours of boredom for a few moments of sheer terror. And that's pretty much sums up the game. So, the cowboy Kenna James finally turning the corner to profit. A little like he's breaking boulders on a chain gang, isn't it? Contrast that to the performance of Roland the Wolf, who drinks lighter fluid in his spare time. He is on fire, rocking and rolling. Is it the player or the seat? He took the seat that McGill lost 30 grand in. But there's plenty of time left. We've turned the corner past the halfway mark in this PartyPoker.net big game.